This is Demon Assault on Elite. And much like Archon's trial, we're going to face Amrat, waves of above. mobs here. Secure to the ground by colossal chains. Of mostly the demons. Page the Archon spoke of must be nearby. Recover the page before the demons can reinforce the area and take the page back to their lair. I'm gonna give the hireling uh, three things. I'm gonna give, give uh, fire, cold, and acid. I think, and, and here criticism. Although I think he partially, she partially gets that anyhow in Amarath. A portal forms in the courtyard before you. Demon reinforcements start to pour into the area. begun to form in the courtyard below. The demons are determined to keep the Codex page. <laughs> you can see that stun working really nice on the demons. And their damage reduction is good plus cold iron, and so I have good but not cold iron. That's why they're getting some damage reduction, but it's not too bad, even on Elite. I'm still seeing, I, I saw a crit of, a lot of crits in the 300s, some of the few in the 400s, so they're still doing pretty good damage. There's a crit for 500. After damage reduction, let me give Iron some healing. Oh, there's an archer, let me get that archer. There it is. Alright, so you, usually these mobs spawn after all the enemies die, but if you wait a really, really long time, uh, they'll respawn even if there's an archer out. So, I learned that when we were trying to, we were trying to use a tactic on a higher reaper once, and it didn't work. Well, it worked until it didn't, because apparently that timer uh, isn't permanent. It's like basically you could leave an archer there, but at some point those mobs are going to spawn anyhow. To complicate matters, but it's a pretty long time. have begun to appear amongst the ruins. Yeah, and elite feels so easy after running, you know, mostly reapers. At first, watch the blades. Adapt. And I don't want to go in the blade, so I'm just going to pike, uh, snipe him. Good. Not, I, 
the nice thing about the leaves is I can self heal myself through this. So that's done. Alright, I'm currently stunned. Let's see, I'm gonna. There we go. A demon portal flickers I'm gonna in the courtyard the south. Up. Now there's some blades over there, so I'm gonna try to draw them back here. Even on on uh hard, I was taking quite a bit of damage. I wanna get that adapt. Seems like the blades don't come this direction. And bow DPS is pretty weak, but the blade DPS is pretty good, so I want to stay away from the blades. Just draw them back, and I'm actually going to draw them back over to here. Get these archers away from the blades. us. So bring the hireling in here, and this seems like a good place to set up camp and fight. Well, I didn't get the champion I was hoping to get, but it's alright. And a champion archer, too. That's a lot better than fighting these blades. So let's get the some spell points. We'll see if these guys just come over and charge us. Fades and the nearby Shavarath blades drift away. Yet before you can catch your breath, another demon falls in the Blade damage. Gotta get that tire line or that adapt.
All right, so now we're the hireling over here. The blades have moved. A portal begins to form, blocking the gate leading to the ruins above the courtyard. Adapts. Stunned. No. Get that adapt right away. There we go. Yeah, the adepts have their stun. There's no save. Well, if it's power word stun, there's no save. I'm not sure if it's power word stun. I assume it is. Shrine just in case, and make it a little bit easier to get those casters. my human power boost. I have almost enough power boost to pretty much use it all the time. Almost out of spell points. I think I can make it one more round. that shrine but you can imagine how much trouble the hireling would be having if it was uh reaper spell point wise let me get this adept all right looks like we're done with this part with the destruction of this portal the gate to the courtyard above is now clear a second path leads further up into a mysterious cavern. So the way up there is an optional. It's kind of a cool optional. Uh, it's something you might want to explore when you're running, running your quests. I'm going to skip it and just go right to the end fight. Can't seem to get Iron to want to heal. Or to, there you go. Nope. Restaurant is blocked. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I forgot to turn my sacred defense on when I logged in or if I turned it off by mistake. But anyhow, it's on now. All right, I'm gonna buff. And so this end fight is a series of um, basically mobs with a boss. And so as soon as a mob comes up, you know, different people have different ways of approaching it. My approach is as soon as a mob comes up, we want to get them right away because the mobs keep coming. And if you don't deal with them, then it could be it could get to be pretty overwhelming. So as soon as there's a mob, we're, we're going to immediately focus on the mob. And then get back to the to the, the boss page afterwards. The Codex of Infinite Planes lies just ahead. And there's the, the first mob. Is so. By a and uh, hopefully. It's
pretty squishy on heroic. I mean, for elite, this he's very, very squishy. And I want to get that mysterious page ASAP because they stop spawning once I take this. The page from the Codex of Infinite Planes hums with magic energy. But you can make nothing of the strange runes that cover it. You should return to Amrath and show it to the Archon who sent you here. Alright, so we have strength 8 boots, so that's not super exciting. Magical resistance and not death block. So even with death block I'm taking a look at. Um, I'm just going to grab an item to break down for essences. And that is Demon Assault on Elite. 